Good evening, all you lazy YouTube fuckwits. Hope you're doing well. Where's uh, where's my guest gone? Right, here. be back on in a minute. Let a few people come on first. And then uh, I'll get me guests back on. So I hope you guys are all doing well anyway. Um, I'm waiting for me guests to come on. How are you doing, Harry? So you guys are well, <laughs> You're going to see someone in the background. Yeah, there we go. I'm back. Evening, Stuart. How are mm. you doing? <laughs> so I so, but yeah, I'm not doing too bad, thank you. I don't, not sure what happened there. You two fuckwits that are listening. <laughs> Good evening, all the YouTube fuckwits. That's not my, <laughs> not words, not my words, it's Steve Woods. My words. So, hey, 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 he can do all right. Yeah, not bad, pal. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, yeah, we're taking a break from the uh, paranormal side at the moment because of um, Sans disability and all that. So we're taking a break and we're going to be concentrating on getting that up to scratch but doing a little bit of urbex in the meantime evening uh bobby real honest truth hope you're doing well sir links there if you fancy jumping on we're just knitting that in about anything bobby if you want to jump on mate um so what are you going to be going into now then Stu? um urbex in more yeah we're just going to be uh concentrating on urbex in really um because climbing over high fences through windows you know how it is you know the sand can't really do that at the moment because of the disability mm. so uh we're just going to be more concentrating on urbex in um but probably abandoned buildings and stuff like that i would imagine yeah which are easier to get into I mean, we, we did a we did a place um two weeks ago because we, we we went up to chester to the screaming house where brenda evans passed away and they're getting ready to pull that down oh they're ripping it down now yeah they've got all um metal fencing around it but there's still a gap in the fence where you can get through but remember the last time we went there yeah well well now it's in a terrible state the the walls are cracking everything is just falling apart oh dear so Shank. um yeah it's uh not looking good you, you've, so, got really, many, you've got many locations in the pipeline. Evening, nice queen. Hope you're doing well. No, we haven't got many locations in the pipeline at the moment. No, um, I just want to concentrate on getting San better at the moment because of the disability what? not being good. What, what's happened? What's has it deteriorated? Uh, she's uh, just um. Yeah, a, a, a walking ain't that uh, great at the moment. And she can't really stand for too long. Oops. Not too good then, really. No. So um, I've decided to take a break for a little bit. That's oh, why we, yeah. get, back, get sand back to full health. Yeah, that's, that's why I've not uploaded new content to youtube um but we did a we did a place outside um market drayton on the way back from chester there was um like uh it was more of an, ab an abandoned um lorry park where there's um an, an abandoned limo and all that well, where about whereabouts in Chester, you say? No, this one was outside much, uh, not much when lock, um, Market Drayton. Oh, uh, did you get much? Um, you find you well, find we, much we, interesting that was there. 
No, apart apart from the limo, uh, there was a there was like an empty house next to it. That was about it. Bloody hell! Yeah, so, anyway, there's you're, the places I've seen. I've, I've yeah noted noted down like um, I've mm-hmm. just got to try and get the precise location. Okay. Have you got any? A... Um, have you got any coordinates to it? Um. The near, I've got like, um, I've got it down to literally about four or five streets, like north, south, east, or west. So it's down to a yeah. little circumference. Um, yeah. I was one of my mates was supposed to have helped me, but his wife's just got taken ill. So, okay. um, what I'll have to do is get speak to you tomorrow or something, and then I'll give you what I've got the locations, and then you and Kasan can go down and check it out. Check it out on the map and go down and have a look. Well, where where is it? Is it in Salford? Um, outside no, of Salford? Uh, there's one between here and Kenwick. Uh-huh. And there's one just the other side of Dudley. I think it's just the other side of Dudley. Um, but okay. I'll, so I'll talk to you about that tomorrow and send you it over. And then if you're in San... Um, want to go down and have a look? You can. It's, it's locations I've found um, from a couple of people on Facebook. They've mm-hmm. they've been like down to the location like theirself. Yeah. Um, and there was another one that I, I was I was going to think about doing, and that's in Bridge North. There's yeah. supposed to be a load of tunnels um, that run under Bridge North. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um... I think that's somewhere near the. What is it? The, the railway, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. It's somewhere near there. It's near the Seven Valley Railway. Yeah, it's like a massive, massive tunnel. There's been a couple of YouTubers that have gone out there and done a bit of content on it. Yeah. Um, if I can get out there, then bloody hell, that'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, if you send me the things over tonight, I'll have a quick look and I'll see if I can find out where they are. And um, when we meet tomorrow, you can um, pop along with us. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you can search it on it'll your and whatnot and then... Yeah, I mean, it'll just, just be me and Sam. Go down, that'll give you some good content, that will. From what yeah, I've... Yeah. And what I've heard, it's um. Yeah. I mean, we, we did um, I did I did one uh, oh crikey, it's about three weeks ago. So um, it was on the uh, just on the outskirts of Telford. It's uh, known as Bramble Cottage. Oh, I was looking at that. I've seen all I've seen. Um, I've seen another video, another creator put up, and it was yeah. that the Brambles, but I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to tell you where it was, but um, it was a good video they done. So you're gonna have to get that content up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's just on the outskirts of Telford that was. But, uh, we just drove drove past it and uh, looked, and I pulled over and I went I went inside and I looked around. And how long is that be deal? It's got to be. What do you mean? What does it mean? Your dis- disability. Since 2007. Since 2007. <laughs> but um, it's kind of. Um, it's eased a bit. It's, it's kind, it's kind, kind of knocked off her feet a little bit, but. Um, I still carry she, on. She's still carrying on, and uh, she's. Um, I'm talking to you like she's not here. Um, <laughs> sorry. Get, pl- get plenty of rest, Sam. I will. Um, yeah. Um, so, what have you been up to then, Steve? All well, as you can see, my good buddy, I've shed six stone. Certainly ain't off you, gob. Look, there's no fucking <laughs> look. There's no belly on me no more, Mister. Look, Mister. Certainly Stimship ain't off you, gob, is it? People can't well, call me bastard no more. <laughs> well, now, um, <laughs> I've lost six six stone. Uh, yeah. That's down to my liver. My it's not off your liver. Mate, though, is it? No. I'll never lose six stone off my dog. <laughs> well, um, 
did you um did you see them videos I sent to you? Uh, which ones? I went. I went to go and see status quo. Oh yeah, yeah. I had a quick budget at that. Uh, Bob Cart, evening. Um, Steve, you you look ill. Um, I feel healthy. I feel a lot healthier than what I did with six stone on me. Um, but yeah, I shed six stone in six weeks. Um, it's down to my my liver liver disease. Six stone a week. That's not healthy, Steve. Watch what you're doing. And plus, I was only having. I was eating like a sandwich a day, like a tuna sandwich, uh, either a tuna sandwich or egg mayo. Um, <coughs> you know, I wasn't able. Yeah, to keep much, I weren't able to keep much food down. You see, Stu, because a lot of stuff I've been yeah. been bringing back up. Yeah, yeah, having a sandwich a day ain't ain't, no, ain't no good, and losing a stone a week is really Very bad. Healthy. Evening, Bobby. Bobby meet Stu. Meet Bobby. How you doing, sir? Hey, Bobby, can you hear me, guys? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Yeah. How you doing, Steve? All right. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Um, but, um, how's yourself? Alfred Bot Paranormal and um, what is it? Urbex um, Investigation. Is that right? Is that right? Uh, Urbex Investigations. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name, fella? Stu. Stu. Stu and Steve. How we doing, mate? All right. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Thanks for asking. Since me and uh, me and Steve have spoken, you've lost how much weight, Steve? I've lost six stone in six weeks. Wow. As wow. you can tell by me, as you can tell by me face, Bobby, it's, uh, it's, it's not that chubby man anymore. <laughs> what an achievement, mate! That's a lot. It's it, in fact, it's it's verging on the dangerous that very quick. Well, this this is the thing, Bob. I've got to um, keep in contact with my doctor now. Um, he's checking yeah. me weight over the next two weeks because I've lost it drastically, partly because I haven't really been eating too well. Um, and partly because I've got a uh, end stage uh, liver disease, wow. uh, sclerosis of the liver. Um, but my weight's still dropping off. Um, so the doc doctors and all that are going to keep a close eye. I think it's all the stress and you know what I've gone through, you know, since January. I think that's brought it on. But I do feel a lot healthier though, sir. I really do. Yeah, yeah. I just say hello to Sarah B. Who's in the Sarah B. Who's in the in your chat. And I, Zara, and I saw well. um, another friend I know, Ice Queen. I hope you're well, darling. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd tune in and see what's going on. Now, you know this paranormal stuff you two guys do? I've yeah. watched, I've watched up quite a lot of Steve's stuff. Uh, has he gone? It, he'll come back in in a minute. I think he's All internet right. playing up a bit, Bob. But um... Right. Well, I, I, I've looked... And I'm trying to learn a little bit about it. Um, how did you come to get into it, Steve? Um, well, to be honest with you, I'm one of them that said I'll believe it when I see it. Um, and I did ask another paranormal group in Telford if I could join. Um, and I wasn't welcome. Um, oh. So I didn't realise. I've known Stuart for quite some time. Um, maybe 20 odd years plus. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realise he was into, he had his own paranormal group. And right. when I found out, I asked him. Um, and last, on the, on the tail end, the back end of Christmas last year, um, he let me tag along on one of his investigations because, um, A, he wanted to make me believe. And I said to him, I really believe this sort of stuff with my own eyes. You know, right. so I was a non-believer. Um, just, I'll just put in there. I have Sharon. Sharon's yeah. a lovely girl. Um, That's not like that, guys. It's okay. It's, uh, just, just Steve, would just explain how we got into the paranormal investigation. Um, yeah, so, so you, you were a non-believer um, then, Steve. I totally was, Bob. I was hundred percent non-believer. Um, and then, like I say, <laughs> stupid. Um, I didn't realise he had a paranormal group, and when I did, he offered me the chance um, to get out and see what he does and what it's all about. Um, and to be honest with you, Bobby, from, from after the first investigation that Stuart allowed me to go to, um, I was 66% a believer after that. And then really? the awesome. other investigations I'd done, 
put me to 100%, Bob. But um, take you through to Stu, and he, 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 you probably explain it a bit better than what so, I could, Bob. So, so how long have you been doing it, Stu? Uh, well, we've been doing it about four years nearly now. Um, you and your so missus, we you? Only... You do, we, we, only created, we only created Telford Paranormal uh, back in 2022. 2022. But before that, we was with um, another, group. A, another, another group and a, another group after that. But we, we left them two groups uh, under under different circumstances. Right. So right. we decided to create our own and uh, go out on our own with uh, just me and my wife. So. Um, Another member was meant to come with us on this one we did in Staffordshire, and because he let us down, and I said to Steve because his uh, wife was at dialysis and Steve was uh, home alone, so so we said to him like, would you like to come along with us and just see how you get on? Right. And Steve was like um, a bit uh, like, oh I don't know, um, I don't know, I don't know, I've got to be up early tomorrow. I went. It's up to you. Just let us know by seven or whenever, and we'll come and pick you up. So Steve uh, told us that he, he'd come along, and we were talking about it on the way. And Steve was like a non-believer, so we we respected that. I mean, there's people out there that don't believe it, and that's absolutely fine. And there's people out there that do believe it. Right. You know, we're not we're not going to say we're, we're not going to judge people who who right. don't believe or believe. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone has their own opinion on different things, so it's a case of uh, us putting down the REM pod and the cat balls and putting the spirit talker on and the EVPs. And as soon as they went off, it, um, it made Steve a, a believer. And the responses that we were getting through the EV, EVP, I mean, there was a little boy there called Wayne who <laughs> uh, who passed away. He, he was uh, run down by one of the carriages. That used to run through the the high street when it was all horse and carts. Right. And a little boy called Wayne came through the EVP. And also touching on that one, Bob. Um, yeah. There was a lot of activity um, outside the bathroom door as opposed to other parts of the the property because it was above a pub, weren't it, Stu? Yeah, can I, can I see, we, we did um, we we did the um, the upstairs of the pub, and we also did the uh, the eight buildings as well, where the uh, the the barns were, where they used to keep right. the the horse and carts and the horses and all that. So can so I can I just ask, as, as a novice, as a novice, what's an EVP? E EVP is um, Sam electronic voice phenomena. Electronic voice phenomena. What does, what does that do? It basically it basically gives you um, what spirit is saying. We can't, you can't hear it with the naked ear, but the machine tells you what they're actually saying. Right. So it picks it up, decodes okay. it, and lets you know. Yes. Right. Right. It's just it's so interesting. And these little machines. I mean, are they are they are they specialised? Is it something that anybody can buy? No, or is it... no. I mean. You can actually. I know, I know there's a lot. I know there's a lot of apps on on your phone, etc. But yeah, you can get it on the apps. But we started off basically our EVP was voice recorder on our mobile. Right. You can actually catch if you are in if you're around spirit and you listen carefully enough to a recording on your phone, you may actually catch spirit speaking through the phone you can we started off with two cat balls um our mobile which we used for evp camera and all that sort of stuff Stu, if you've got them available it, can you show bobby what they are maybe you, you get <laughs> <better understanding. laughs> that one. Well, no, good oh, look we will can, we will no, do next right. time but they're all downstairs in the bloody bag and i haven't got the energy to I, go down and get them I believe, you know, I'm interested in you guys and what, what you know, makes you uh, want to do this. What do you think? I mean, the, the mainstream media, I don't think they do any any good. I think it, it, takes, it, it takes it away. The, 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 the realness of it, it takes it away. I mean, when you look at that Most Haunted, they use a, they use a psychic. 
Um, and it's and, um, it's now, I, I've got, I've got. Sorry, um, Bobby, I'm just going to stop you there, no. pal, because um, most haunted, um, a fake, a fake. That needs charging. Well, what, um, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, yeah. what what I want to know is, you still, you and your, you and your yep. old good lady and Steve, I'd like your opinions on most wanted. If you want to go first, Stu. On, on Most Haunted. <laughs> well, um, they, they did a location up in um, Yorkshire. It's a very well-known place. Um, 30 East Drive, Pontefract. Right. Uh, they, they did a, um, a place up there. Investigation. An, an, an investigation. And... Um, it was all fake. It, it turned out to be all fake. Yeah, uh, I can't. I can't exactly remember what they did, but it was something that they did on okay. on the stairs. But Sans just said that she remembers what they did, so I'm just going to pass you yeah. over. To, to yeah, sure. Basically, what it was, they put on the stairs. They put, put my phone on charge. cat balls on the on the stairs, and basically, what they didn't show you is they actually sat on the stairs next to the cat ball where. They did something where the audience couldn't see it, and every so sorry. often, they gorgeous. every so often they knocked the cat ball and right. made out that it was spirit. Right. Everything that most haunted do is staged. I mean that Derek Akara. I mean, God bless him, he's dead now, but he yeah. he was found out as being a fake. Um, he was. He was a fake. Yes, he was a fake. So what's what's? I mean, thought? I don't. I sorry. don't. I don't know much, to be fair, about Derek Akora, but I'm part of the. I'm in the group, and I I can actually sense when spirits are around. Right. I'll go, we'll go into an investigation, and I'll say to Stu or Nikita or Wayne or whoever's with us. Stu will say to me uh, before the investigation starts, "Can you can you feel anything?" And if I say no, we leave. And what what feeling do you get? What what? It's just goes. basically, it feels like my stomach's churning, if right. you know what I mean. And right. The best way right. to describe it is it's um, a more painful version of butterflies. Right. right. Well, I'm, 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 I'm a skeptic when it comes to uh, psychics. Uh, another one that I read, I don't know if, if you guys have heard of her. She's dead and gone now many years ago. Doris Speed. She was a psychic. And yeah, I've is, heard of her. Yeah, I've heard of her. There's another lady, I can't think of her name off the top of my head, and apparently what she used to do was um, she used to hold these psychic nights, you know, where the, in, the, in the local town hall or wherever, and people would go and they'd speak to the spirits. But what she did apparently was send researchers into the foyer where everybody, you know, where everybody had yeah. meet up, and they'd have a microphone on them. And she'd listen in to people's conversations. Well, yeah, if you're, yeah. if you're going to a psychic night, you're going to talk about who you want to, oh, I've come to see if yeah. you can find me granny or me, you know, or whatever. And apparently yeah. that's how she worked it. She, she worked it by listening to people. Yeah. Yeah, if you sub to the channel, if you sub to the channel, Bobby, um, we've, got on there. we've got a video on there, and I'm not kidding you, it's the best bit of evidence we've ever caught. I don't know if you've ever heard um, of a story called Bre of Brenda Evans from uh, Cheshire. Cheshire. She was a 17-year-old a girl that was brutally murdered and dumped down wow. a 12-foot manhole. Wow. Uh, we actually caught the best bit of evidence that we've got to date. I mean, we yeah. had, thanks to Steve, we had a camera on the outside of the door and we had a camera on the inside of the door. We were right. live on the, on the inside. I actually asked Spirit, I said, if you can, can you close that door? And the door started to close very slowly and then it stopped. So then I said, Brenda, if that's you, shut that door fully and the door just slammed. And really? we caught the angle from both ends. So you cool, can perfectly cool. see there was nobody outside pulling the strings. Yeah. And... Can I ask your thoughts on the <coughs> most haunted, Steve? Um, see, see, since I've had the experience of going on these investigations, it's pretty easy to tell if it's set up or if it's not. Um, and like Sam was saying, 
um, when they went to uh, what was it, 30 West? No, 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 30 East Drive. We've not been there yeah, when, because when, it's when they went to 30 East Drive, you've got to pay something like 100 pounds each. Yeah, it's 110 pound per person, and it's everything rough, in that yeah, property is staked. Sorry, and you've when, when they actually what's think they're the most sorry, Steve, actually done Steve, it Drive. Sorry, you're going too fast for me. Yeah, uh, you have 30 to pay. East Drive. No, you tell me yeah. and I'll jump in after. Yeah, 30 East Drive, you have to pay £110 per group. So say, for instance, there was just two of you. It's £110 and it's you can only be in there a minimum of two and a half hours because I've looked into this. And everything in that property, they've even got chicken wire wrapped around the plates that, and they're set on a timer to fly off at a certain time. What is, what is it at 30 East Place? What is it? 30 East Drive basically is... The Black Monk. It, yeah, it's a, a well-known haunting in Pontefract. Right. Um, it's basically a black... Has it seen the film when the lights went out? Have you ever seen the film... Um, Oh. No, it's not that one. It's the other one. The Conjuring. Have you ever seen the film The Conjuring? No, I haven't. No. Well, the the film the the haunting is actually based on a film called When the Lights Went Out, right. and it was ba that was made in 1975, and it's about a young family, um, a mother, a father, and a young young girl. Now, this young girl was actually killed. Um, through a exorcism, they tried numerous exorcisms on her because obviously this um, this monk um, was starting to possess her, and she was literally moving away from her family. She wouldn't interact with the family. She um, was possessed. She was in stage three because there's four stages of possession. She was in stage three um, of it. Uh, they tried f the first five exorcisms didn't work because it wouldn't leave her. The sixth one worked, but as soon as the demon left her body, it killed her. Right. So, but well, yeah, if you um, with, with the haunting, Bob, on that specific one, um. You know, I'd I'd say that you know it was set up with whatever um, they yeah. found was totally set up and fake. As for their other stuff, um, you know, I've watched loads of their content and I do find it interesting. But at the same time, you've got to keep an open mind. Yes. That well, got, I, 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 do know, I do know that Derek Carr got exposed on that program. Because, yes, he um, did. One of the guys and half of the um, screams that Yvonne. I think that's her name. Half of the screams that she comes out with are recorded. Right. She basically I, she's one of these people that jumps at her own shadow. Well, do you, do you know that her and her, her and her husband were actually executive producers on the show. It was their show basically, and they sold it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the thing they is, were... they, they um, one of the guys on the show, which was a paranormal um, expert, he he, he decided to. to uh, Feed Derek Accorda a name, and this name was something like I don't know, uh, Keris Liar. And when it was, when it was, um, when it was, the words were changed. The around, Derek Liar, it was. It, it came, it came out as I am a fake. So yeah, yeah his nickname so what, Bobby. What this his nickname is, Bobby? Derek Accorda's nickname was the Scouse. The, oh, what was it? The Scouse. Something right. liar. Well, well, what this guy did was he thought, I'm going to feed that down the line through the people, through the producers, through the through the gentlemen, get it back to Derek Akora and see if he uses that. And he used it. And it was yeah. like, then he exposed him and said, that is, I am a fake. That is where I've got it from and I've been it down the line. And he, he yeah, he's framed to speak to this guy who had this name and it was like, wow, you've been exposed big time. Yeah, that's the thing, Bobby, with this. There's not a lot of people that are into this uh, paranormal no. activity anyway. Um, I mean, to be I fair, we did our job. Reputation is like everything in itself. But if you lose right. over something simple like that, being 
outed as being yeah. fake, then people are going to be sat there thinking, hold on, which other videos yeah. have been faked, you know? But he did push the boundaries, you know. He did push the boundaries, did, did, did Derek Agara, because he, he came, I don't know if there was one episode. <laughs> I haven't watched them all, but what I've done is research him. And one episode where he said, Mary likes dick. Can you believe yeah. that? And it was like, it's like, what? And that's what he yeah. said. Mary likes dick. Me, yeah, um, I Mary saw that episode. Mary, Mary and Dick were a couple, and that's what he came out with. And it was, it was I think that was Derek Akora saying, I can push it to the limits, me. He got too yeah. confident. I mean, going back to what um, Steve said about his first first investigation with us, I don't know if Stu or Steve have told you, um, the little spirit that came through on that night actually attached to me, didn't he, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> he actually followed me home. So what's, what's your name, darling? My name's San. San? Yeah. San, S-A-N? Yeah. That's unusual name. Yeah, um, I don't go by my full name. I'm only called that when I'm in trouble. Right. Sam, <laughs> you, you and Stu, who was the first to get involved with, a, with, with this paranormal? I've, I've, I've been... I've had, always had feelings like this ever since I was, what, 12, 13, something like that. I've always been able to sense... So it's always been Spirit. a sense with you. It's always been... It's been there. I've always been sensitive to that sort of stuff. There was a time, Sam, when... when you thought, what's this feeling mean? Yeah. I mean, when I just, when it first started happening, because my nan, my nan had sort of that sort of stuff going on with her. And I think um, it was my nan that got me into it, to be fair. Right. But my, gra my granddad, myself and my granddad used to watch all that sort of stuff. But the best of it was my granddad, bless him, he was in his 50s back then. And, I mean, he'd hide behind a pillar and go, tell me when it's over. I'm like, Grandad, I'm 13 and I'm watching it and you're hiding behind a cushion. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, he said, is it gone yet? I'll go, yeah, it's gone. And he goes, you little liar. It's gone. So, but, yeah. It... Let, me, let me come back to Steve. Steve, what's your thoughts on how it's set up Most Haunted? Do you think it's, it's... Uh, it's, it's all scripted? Do you think it's all... I, I, I um, think yeah. definitely, Bobby, it's scripted, and I do it's believe... It's all put on, and it's all fake, Bobby. I do, I do believe now that, you know, it is staged, um, and I do believe that majority of it is fake, to be fair with you. Right. Um, but there it is, um, for our entertainment, but it doesn't really show the truth. Well, I, 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 I believed that it was entertainment when I found out that a fan... Uh, yeah. I mean, a lot and of and these and people... A, let me just finish, Sam Love. When when I when I found out um, um, a vet fielding and a husband were executive producers and they made it independently and they sold it, I don't know if it was Channel Four or whatever channel it was on. Um, I thought, yeah, they've they've got somebody here that Channel Four or whatever whatever channel yeah. it was are interested in and they're going to keep that going. Do you think that's what it was? Yes, I mean. Uh, we can actually show you, Bobby, if you if you'd like to see the video of the uh, screaming house where we caught the door closing. Really, really. If you'd like to see it, we can actually show you now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, that'd one nice. second. I'll just pass you over to Stu. One moment, here you go. Hiya, mate. I mean, I'm first thing with that one. So give me a minute. For. Um. <laughs> So, Steve, have you gone out with these guys and actually investigated? Yes, um, on this occasion, um, on the video you're about to see, I actually used my recording equipment because I <laughs> felt that if I hadn't, um, and I only produced the evidence from the camera inside the room, then there would have been a lot of sceptics saying, uh, oh, but what about outside? There was someone pulling the door from outside. So everywhere that I went with them... I'd set cameras up in all different rooms, you know, just in case that evidence comes through. And what, um, and what were your first feelings, Steve? When you, when you saw this video, what were your first feelings? 
Uh, when, when I was actually there, I was like, wow, did that really yeah. happen? But when I rewound it and rewound yeah. it and rewound yeah. it, I thought, yeah. I thought, you know what? This makes me believe myself 100% that, you know, the paranormal yeah. is out there and there is a paranormal yeah. world. What was the turning point with you? To 100%, that was 100% I was on, a, on, this, on this point. So let me know when you guys are ready and I'll, yeah, I'll you're press ready. play. Whenever you're ready, mate, we'll go. Can you move it closer? I think I've seen this, to be honest. Press <coughs> play. Oh, turn it down. So talk us through this, Steve. Right, we're we're standing over towards like the back end of the room here. This is um in the bedroom, one of the bedrooms. Um, I'm doing a live. Um, so we were basically just given natural commands to see um if there was anything um in in the room. Um, we, and Sam gave a simple command as to, can you shut that door for me, please? All the way to Pam. Right. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow. Whoa, fucking hell. Amazing. See that, you see that, guys? Wow. The Jeff. door was asked to be closed and the door has closed, people. Yeah, come here a minute. Wasn't that a wind? Wait, it couldn't have been wind. No. Come in here a minute. Watch this. Come in here. <coughs> cold wow wow there's definitely a door closing this is from the other side of the door this is from in the hallway bob right and this is the outside of the door now Are you closing the door, Spirit? Spirit, can you close that door fully for me, please? All the way if you can. Thank you. Wow. 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 So there. There, there you yeah. go. Right, take it back over there and put it on charge. That's quite convincing. As a as a as a you know, novice. How convincing is that? So son, can I ask son? Yeah, uh, of course. Question. Do you think Oh they've gone again, Steve? Uh, I'll get them back on in a sec. <laughs> you see, their internet keeps playing up where it's their location where they are. They got me, didn't they? I think they're brilliant. Yeah. And Is that Steve? your good lady, Steve? That's my friend. Oh, she's a good looking girl, isn't she? <laughs> Love you too, bro. <laughs> I'm just waking keep... off, needed to win. I couldn't find my man, and you've got him down here. <laughs> are you keeping him? Are you keeping Steve in check? Yep. Good girl, good girl. He's a good man. Steve, He's a good man. Steve. Oh, there we go. Hello, we're back. Having oh, we're having trouble in the stream yard at the moment. Please, but don't put don't put Sam, that can I ask you, Sam? Do you think yeah. look, spirits tend to uh, be attracted by certain individuals? Yeah, um, they are. Not everybody can communicate with spirits. No. I mean, and to be fair, the first investigation we come on, can I, I can was... I say, can I just finish? Uh, just a second. Yeah, um, of course. Right. Um, now, do you think you're one of those people that the spirits look and see and think, I can trust her? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, like the first... With you on that one. Because you need to get to trust you. Yeah, because yeah, you, you, you do need to get a certain amount of trust. Yeah, from the spirit. From spirit, basically, <laughs> like I said to you regarding the spirit on the first investigation we did with Steve. They need to trust you. They need to trust me. I, yeah, I seem to uh, 
attract young spirits. Yeah, you usually across, it's children that come to me, isn't it, Steve? You come across, San, as being um, from what you've spoken about. You, you come across as being like they they see you or what, however. I mean, let's be honest. It's a, it's a different dimension, so they might not even see you as human. Um, but they'll they'll probably hear you more than see you. And it's like this this voice I can hear. Yeah, I'll speak to them. I can trust them. Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, the spirit that we're talking about is a seven year old boy. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what it was with that investigation. Wayne came across to me and said to me, and I told you too, didn't I? If he doesn't like you, he'll scratch you. And what so, did I come out of that cellar yeah, with? You, ca you, came out of that, you came out of that cellar, Steve, with scratches. I didn't get scratched and neither did Stu. But um, Steve and... Just let Steve explain that. Let Steve explain that. Go on, tell me about the scratches, Steve. We, um, we ended up going down into the basement and um, a couple of people didn't want to go down, so me and Stu went down. Oh, no, Sam went down as well. Um, when I went down there, my neck, my neck was fine. Um, but when I, when we came back up about five minutes after I came, came up from the cellar, right. um, Dan and Stu both noticed there was, there was three straight lines, Bob. Down my neck. It wasn't. There was two, Steve. There was two, two long bucket. scratches. Two and long scratches, scratches parallel. You did not feel anything. No. And you was with him, Stu. Yeah. Right. I didn't get scratched. Stu didn't get scratched. I didn't get scratched because I didn't go down there. I don't do basements. Right. Now, and, right. and this this was at Tilstone House in Cheshire. I'm not sure if you've heard of that place. It used to be a wedding venue. Right. And an old shooting ground back in. Uh, Early 1700s. No, 1866 when uh, Lord Daresbury had it, and then right. it turned into a wedding venue. Right. Yeah, so I noticed right. these two. They noticed these two parallel scratches on the left side of my neck. Nom, nom. Um, right. It was only when I got home, my t-shirt was rubbing against it. It started feeling a bit Where's sore, and I was like, "How the hell did Where? they get there?" Where are you going? Well, the funny thing was, when it cleared up, Bob, oh, yeah. we went on another location. Mm -hmm. And the same thing happened to me there, except this time it was three lines, three parallel lines and scratch, scratches. Do you think that's, do you think that's, do you think I mean, that's uh, 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 they're trying to send you a message, Steve? I think so. <laughs> I think they were telling me I wasn't welcome. I mean, this really? spirit, this little boy, this little boy spirit, he's still with me now. The worst thing he does is I could be watching YouTube or something on the telly. I'll get up to go to the toilet, come back in and see BBs is on the telly. Right now, have you, have so, you guys, have you ever, guys ever thought about your own, where you live? I mean, I don't it's know. Not, the it's age not of this the place is new build. But, but most most properties have oh, some kind of uh, connection with death. Even, yeah, even they. Even um, new it properties seems to too. be. It seems to be on the land mainly. Right. Not the because same. because you can have um, new built houses and the spirit can remain on the land. It's just like. Um, Brenda Evans up in Cheshire. Once they knock that little, they knocked it down. Once they but once they knock that bungalow down, then mm -hmm. the spirit will remain there. Yeah, she will, because she said to us, didn't she? She'd never leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't she I mean, stay? Yeah. Said, I've had that yeah. feeling. I've had that feeling, you know, before, um, where there's somebody touched me behind me, and it's like, wow, some, I'm, I swear somebody's put their hand on my shoulder. I've had that feeling yeah. before. Um, have, have you ever had um, like a distinctive smell? Not really. I couldn't say so. Because uh, um, do you want to explain? Yeah, I'll explain from it to him. A couple of weeks ago, here. Basically, what it is, I lost my dad six weeks ago. Tomorrow. Sorry to. And I quit. I quit smoking in January. Now, I was downstairs cleaning, and Stu was up here watching the telly or something. I don't know what he was doing. And.